This is called our grain sealer auger. What this auger does is any of the feed that carries over from, the, from your uh, floor chain, this will probably collect at least 80 to 90% of that feed and feed it back out into the mangers or into the bunks. Anything else goes back to, the, to the, the doors in the back and that's what you clean out at the end of the day. This will get most of that feed out so that your subfloor, your false floor underneath, will not start to accumulate feed underneath. Now we'll move over here to our cross feed conveyor. One of the big uh, items, we have our patent pending equalizer auger. What this auger does is this auger will allow you to fill this whole cross feed chamber with feed It'll pull the feed away from the door, let it fall on the conveyor chain, and then feed out, and it will not let the, the feed bridge in the, cross feed, in the cross feed area, so it feeds equally throughout the whole load. Another option with the cross feeds that we usually have is a folding uh, cross feed spout. This, this unit uh, doesn't have that on it. Um, our greasable take-up bearings, they're, the nice thing about that is you would add grease to that, it keeps both bearings equal, so the chains always stay nice and tight. Um, the other thing is the surf serviceability on those is if you need to change these bearings out whenever you uh, need to replace them, you can actually just slide this whole assembly by undoing the chain, you can slide this whole assembly out to replace the bearing and slide it back in. You don't have to disassemble a, a lot of uh, stuff to get the, the whole assembly out the end of the crossfeed. Uh, filters, they're in a very easily accessible place, makes it very simple for doing uh, maintenance on the unit. That's your hydraulic uh, filter assembly. Hydraulic cooler, everything is, we try to keep everything as simple and easy to get to. So maintenance on the unit is as simple and as straightforward as it can be. So any shop foreman can keep things, you know, on the shelf and moving and feeding as easy as you can. Our delivery boxes, we've really simplified the rear end of this thing. We've uh, made these guards on the back, simple, quick, easy to open up. You can get back here pin this, it's easy to access these chains. You can check them, see them, grease the, the bushings here on the back, check your slack. You can uh, open up these, these guards back here. Makes it also easy for you to clean out that feed that I was talking about before that does make it here to the back. We have the hose back here so that you can clean any of that feed that makes it back here. At the end of the day, keep everything clean. And as I said, you can check your slack. These are your slack adjusters for your floor chain. It's as easy as a couple of cranks on these and everything stays nice, tight, adjusted. Makes servicing these things and keeping them in service all the time as easy as that. This is the guard in the back side of the, the adjustment idler for the grain sealer auger. Move forward here. This is the main drive for our S3 Planetary has an adjustment for the S3 planetary main drive for the floor. Okay, with a little help from my assistant, now we will open up this guard. So on this side here, we have a grease bank. So that grease bank greases all the bearings for the beater assembly, where you can see all these, and these are all automotive brake style of fitting so they don't pop and break loose and everything's simple to maintain. Check your, your, your chain adjustments, keep everything nice and tight. So simple and straightforward.